It's time for Legal Talk with Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. After a 14-year-old Missouri boy fell to his death at an Orlando amusement park, there are still a lot of questions surrounding who is responsible for this tragic accident. I'm Lauren Scott, your host for Legal Talk, and today I'm joined by Browning Group and lawyer Andrea McNary to learn more. Good morning, Andrea. How's it going? Good morning. Thanks for having me. So when something like this happens, can an amusement park be held liable for accidents that happen to their patrons? Well, like most things in the law, the answer is it depends. Mm -hmm. If an activity is what we will legally call inherently risky to whatever it is you're doing, then possibly not. But as a property owner, a person or an owner does have an obligation to make sure that they warn their patrons of dangers they may not appreciate, but the owner knows about, or they have a duty not to increase the danger on any even if it's a roller coaster that's considered a dangerous activity. Yeah, now you use this term inherent risk. What exactly does that mean? So it's, it's basically a legal term that means if it's so central or to the nature of the activity you're doing. So for instance, I always use the example of if you're skiing, um, falling, mm -hmm. going down a mountain, maybe part of that. that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe part of, you know, that's an inherent risk of, of going down a hill skiing. Mm -hmm. But if there is a hidden piece of metal jutting out onto the ski trail that's covered by snow, that is not an inherent risk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what about the waivers that we all sign when we go to these places? So in Missouri, waivers are enforceable, but mm -hmm. they have to be uh, very conspicuous and, and legible and actually spell out what rights a person is waving away. You're, you know, saying if you fall, you're, you're assuming that responsibility. Yeah. But again, if you run into something in the path that's hidden, that would not be considered part of what you are waving because it's not inherent to the activity. Okay, well, all great information. Uh, if people want to learn more, get in touch with you, Andrea, how can they do that? Uh, Andrea M at GetBC.com or through the Brown and Crouppen website. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by Brown and Crouppen. For more information, visit brownandcrouppen.com.